Hey guys, it's Purse Sale Friday. I'm Kristen with another Chance Resale and it is Purse Sale Friday. So my back is still not really the greatest, so please bear with me and, you know, don't don't mind me if I'm, you know, crunched over or anything like that. Um, it's just a process. I'm wearing very limited jewelry and everything, so let's just get into it and don't even bother with that. Um, we have the clearance section, we have the thrifted purse section, we have a few pairs of shoes, and then we have an America's Thrift Supply five piece brand name purse box to unbox. Um, honestly, I think I did really well this week. I'm very excited to start the new year off with a major score haul. I think um, a lot of these, most of these purses are amazing not just the brands but the quality so um i'm really happy and excited to be able to bring them to you at a discounted price versus what i would be listing them for on poshmark and ebay so remember that you guys as my subscribers here on youtube get the discounted um uh, prices versus what i would list it for on my ebay and poshmark all right so um you guys get the deals um, so we're going to start off really quickly by going over the ordering instructions. Um, I will put them up on the screen throughout the video, but I'm only going to explain them this one time just for time's sake and because I'm really not feeling the greatest. So let's put them up on the screen and we'll go over them one time, but I will put them up on the screen throughout the video for you guys. Okay, so you have to email me. My email was on the screen um, with the timestamp, screenshot, brief description. Any two of those combinations will work just to make sure I am invoicing you for the correct bag because we have numerous bags by the same brand. So I want to make sure that you're going to get the right bag. Um, shipping is not included in the prices that you hear. It's based on USPS pricing and your location for mine, I am in New York, um, and the weight, obviously. So um, you will get a PayPal invoice emailed to you. You don't have to have a PayPal account. You can pay with any debit or credit card um, as a guest, and I believe Venmo is an option, and you can also pay in payments um, through PayPal. Um, you can probably hear Dallas drinking. I'm hoping that he's gonna behave today. Let's pray. <laughs> so um, also make sure you're checking the sold list. I will keep a sold list in the comment section. That is the most important piece of the ordering instructions. You will know if something's sold if you check that sold list. So when you're done watching the video, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go out of the video and come back in, which will refresh the entire video and the sold list down in the comment section. So you're gonna scroll up under the video is going to be where everyone comments and where you can write a comment. The first comment pinned right there will be the sold list. It will always be at the top of the comment section. So I will also have a pending payment list, which will be right under that. Um, and that means that I sent out an invoice to somebody and I am waiting on payment, but you can feel free to email me to be backup buyer on that item if they don't pay. Um, so you'll know if something's available if you refresh the video and check the list. So that is very helpful to me so I'm not getting a bazillion emails asking if something's available when I have other emails um, and invoices to send out. Um, payment is due immediately. So once you get that invoice, please, once you send me an, an email, keep on top of your emails. Once you get that invoice, please send payment immediately. Um, if you take, if there is a delay, um, I, and other people are asking for the purse, I will move on to the next person. Um, there have been times now where I'm waiting an hour, three hours, five hours for a payment to come through and I'm emailing the person like, are you still there? Do you still want the purse? Other people are emailing me interested about it. So if I don't hear from you in a timely manner with payment, I am going to move on to the next person. Um, you know, I have a life too, um, <laughs> shockingly. So I can't just sit behind the computer screen waiting for an answer from you. So please let's be fair to everybody, including myself. And if you really want a bag, email, I will send the invoice 
and um, you know payment is required immediately. If something does come up, if an issue does arise, please let me know and I can give you up to 48 hours to pay. Um, but communication is key. Please just let me know what's going on and um, you know we'll see if we can work it out. Um, all right, I think that's pretty much it. You know me, I always forget something in the <laughs> um, ordering instructions, but it'll be up on the screen every once in a while for you. And I will also put it um, down in the description box so it's written out there as well. Okay, let's get into it and let's start with the clearance section. Oh, and we're also gonna be doing the rest of the Rent the Runway rent the runway bags that I didn't get to do last week because they had to be fixed up and I was waiting for straps to come in and stuff like that. So we're gonna do the rest of those today as well. All right, so up first is the clearance section, which are the purses from last week that didn't sell. So we're gonna drop the price and hope to find them a new home today. So the first one up is the Kate Spade Fuchsia Leather Crossbody. I'm shocked this one didn't sell. I love this one. It is in super duper excellent condition. You have the Kate Spade embossed in the leather. It's gold tone hardware. You do have an adjustable crossbody to shoulder strap. It can really only be shortened about four inches, so it'll still be a little bit longer of a um, shoulder bag, but it is in excellent condition all the way around. Um, and then the interior is like perfect um, zipper closure on the top. Nice striped interior. You have your Kate Spade with your zipper pocket and a slip. And your phone will fit no problemo. All right, so for the Fuchsia Leather Kate Spade crossbody, we're going to drop this one down to $40. I have to really slow down actually because I'm getting dizzy. Ugh. Okay, back pain is no joke, you guys. All right, so then we had a few of the bags from Rent the Runway. So the first one up that we're gonna lower the price on is called Staud, and it is the Shirley bag. So this one's really great. This is a um, croc embossed patent leather in like an off-white cream color. It is a crossbody or shoulder bag. You can adjust it. Um, it's more of a longer shoulder bag and then it could definitely be a crossbody. Um, it The outside is in phenomenal condition. It has the stod on the bottom, S-T-A-U-D, with your feet. Actually, the feet do have a little bit of wear, but other than that, she's good. Um, cute little like square handles. Um, the hardware does say Staud as well. The interior has a um, suede inside and then it has a removable pouch. I suggest keeping it in there to keep your things organized, but it is leather and it is in great condition. And then, um, actually was there, I think that was a, okay, no. Um, so that goes inside. And then the problem with this bag, so like we talked about last week, the Rent the Runway bags um, all had some type of flaw. I was able to, between me and my husband, I was able to fix a few of them so they didn't have any flaws. Um, this one I was able to fix, but obviously you can see the repair. Um, the loops for the strap were completely like ripped out. So I patched this side and this side I was able to just glue, uh, fabric glue, so we're good, all right? I know it's not the prettiest repair, but you know, I'm no professional over here, but I get the job done most times. <laughs> so for the Staud Shirley, this one is still on the Staud website for $250. Um, there's one on eBay exactly like this for $150. I'm dropping this one down to $65, okay? Really great, um, nice uh, luxury bag. All right, then the other two from Staud were exactly the same, but one had some flaws on the interior. So we'll show that one first. 
make sure this is the right one. Yeah. So this is so cute. It is a leather, um, some type of animal print in like a beige and off white. This one is called the Fawn Felix. It is a little shoulder bag or handbag. These are great to just keep under your arm, nice and secure. You can have, you know, both hands for your double drinks. Um, it is in, the outside is in really, really great condition. There's really nothing wrong with the outside. The handle is great. Um, bottom and corners are wonderful. Um, the interior is where we had the issue. Because remember, good old Rent the Runway, when they get bags back from being rented or items back from being rented and they are not in the condition that they sent them out in, they kind of sometimes ruin them a little bit more so people can't resell them. Um, so most of them are just damaged on the interior. Like this one just has some marker on the interior, which to me is no big deal. Only you are seeing the interior. Um, but here is the stawed um, embossment on the patch right there. And that is a little pocket. And it is a le um, suede interior. And then you do have those blue marker marks but it's really honestly not too bad. It's like all the way, way down at the bottom. Um, this bag, obviously in better condition, is listed on eBay for two, $124. Um, because of the flaws on this one, I'm dropping this one down to 40. All right, very cute. 40 bucks on the Staud Fawn Felix, and that one is the one that's more flawed. This one is the exact same one, and there is nothing wrong with it. So this one is the same thing, uh, leather, really great condition all the way around, handle and all. Um, and then, oh, I didn't, I don't know if I mentioned this on the other one, but it is a magnet closure on both. And then the interior of this one is fine. It might have a little bit of darkening to the suede because of the use, but other than that, she's in really great shape. You have your pocket right there. And yes, the phone, without a doubt fits. So this is super cute. This one is in much, much better condition. So we're dropping this one down to 65. All right, super cute. Um, all right, then next up we had um, the All Saints. So the only one that didn't sell yet is the Fringe, which I'm shocked because I liked this one the best. Maybe it had to do with the chain handle, I don't know. But it has a gold tone chain handle kind of like a square Rolo chain. Um, it is not adjustable, so it will be a crossbody or longer shoulder bag. Um, just let me know if you need like dimensions on anything. So it is like a tan, beigey tan with the fringe on both sides. It does say All Saints down here. There is a few teeny little minor marks, that's the stuffing, uh, a few teeny little minor marks on the exterior. Uh, one right there, teeny, teeny, tiny little guys. Um, but other than that, she's good. Bottom and corners are great. Um, the hardware all says All Saints. And then the interior, I mean, this bag smells like beautiful leather. And the interior is great on this one. There's no issues with the interior. You have your leather All Saints plaque. And there's no pockets or anything on the inside though. All right, so really great bag. I love this one. All Saints, and we're dropping this one down to $65. Beautiful. Okay, then we had the Furla. I can't believe I'm dropping this one down to this price because, because I would be, honestly, if this, you know, I would probably be listing this around $80, $85 but I'm gonna, we're doing deals today, you guys. So this is a Furla. This is an orange leather. It almost actually has like the texture of an actual orange. Um, it can be shoulder or cross body. It has the leather on the um, shoulder for protection. Gold tone, really great condition. Um, this bag is great. There's just some wear on the exterior um, hardware right here. You have a back pocket. 
great condition all the way around. Um, pinch the in the middle right here and you have just your marks right here which again it's on the inside it's really not a big deal to me the actual inside of the bag is perfectly fine you have your furla right there and your back slip pocket so we are good to go with the phone in here as well and this one I am dropping to only $60. If this one doesn't sell today, um, I'm listing it on eBay and Posh for about $85. So grab it today for $60. Okay, then we had, okay, so that's all the purses from last week, but then we had the thread up box. So I opened up a thread up box. We have two left from that. And we had the Kate Spade wallet. So this is that really pretty mint leather. It did have marks right here and on the back that do not come off. I tried all of my secrets. I didn't want to start taking out the color of the leather, but nothing took it out for me. Otherwise, it's in pretty great shape, okay? You have a little pocket on the back and the interior was in really great condition as well. So you open up the snap here and you have all your card slots. This is all leather, it's in very good condition. You have your cash slot up top, which is great. Just a teeny little bit of dirtiness back there. And then you have the zipper compartment, which zips around really well. And then you just had a little bit of coin residue in there, but not a big deal overall. Um, I was considering maybe painting this, like doing this part black, but leaving this green. So it's kind of like a mint chocolate chip look. Um, so I think if nobody buys it at $15, I might do that and then bring it back to you guys. So 15 bucks as is for the Kate Spade. <clears throat> then we had the Kate Spade tote that was left. So I did clean this up and it, it really, it. I mean, it cleaned up so easily, like I barely even had to put any muscle into it, thankfully, because my back has been really doo-doo. Um, but it cleaned up really nicely. It's the big black Saffiano Kate Spade tote. Um, you have your little hang tag, you have the front pocket, it's gold tone hardware. It has very, very, very little wear to the corners, uh, very minor. Um, bottoms, good. That's just a little, just a little spot. Um, handles are in really great shape. There's like literally nothing wrong with them. Um, and then the interior, you have three sections. There is no closure on the bag, just so you know. The back section has your slip pocket, which does have some staining around it that did not lift out. Um, then you have your center zip which again has some staining along the top, which I could not get out. I actually think that's glue from the inside. Um, and then your other side here in the front has your slip pockets. But everything has been cleaned out. There was a lot of brown down there and it came out really nice. So um, I'm only gonna drop this one um, $5. I'm dropping it to 55 because I did have to put a lot of cleaning into it, um, but it did come out really, really nice, and I'm excited, so 55 on the top. Oh, the male lady's here. Oh, she's getting out, so let me let me um, pause this, because he's gonna go okay. nuts. Sorry, so she actually just brought um, a purse lot that I had bought to the door, so Dallas went like, ape shit. Okay, let's keep going. So that wrapped up the clearance section. So let's start back, I mean, let's start up with the regular thrifted section. <laughs> Words are hard today, guys, sorry. Um, first up is a Radley. It is new with tag. This one is called the pocket bag. So I guess you would wear it this way. And it is a crossbody. It is adjustable. You can probably make it a shoulder bag. Light gold tone hardware. Here is your new with tag. Um, the price is not on here. Here's your cute little dog hang tag. 
Radley London. Um, their leather is phenomenal. So the back here, you have the pocket and there is some scratching. So I think maybe maybe somebody at the thrift store may have maybe tried this on and scratched it or I don't know what happened, but it's hard to see, oh, maybe there. So you have like one, two, and then three kind of light scratches, um, but you can't really notice it. So just want to point that out. And then you have a front zip pocket here, but everything else is new, like new with tag. Um, then the interior is a zipper closure. And you have your Radley um, care card information and whatnot. And then you have a slip pocket on one side and your zipper pocket with your branding on the other. So it is new with tag, but there are just some slight little light scratches on this pocket, which is at the back. Um, so for the Radley new with tag, this exact one is actually listed on eBay for $100 and up. Um, I'm gonna offer this one to you guys for 65 because you get the deals and it has a little bit of that scratching. So 65 brand new with tag Radley pocket bag. Okay, then we have, I love this one. So I actually love a lot of these bags <laughs> this week. Um, this is a super butter soft leather backpack by American Eagle. So this is butter soft black leather. You have a pocket here in the front with a magnet closure. These are not pockets on the sides. You have the back, which has your adjustable straps in silver tone, the silver tone hardware. This bag is in beautiful condition, absolutely gorgeous condition all the way around. Um, you got the top handle and you have your main compartment, which is inside. And there is, let me bend it down so you can see, American Eagle made in Italy, genuine leather with your zipper pocket and very clean interior. So nice little um, mini backpack, purse backpack by American Eagle, black leather, $45, excellent condition. Okay, then we have a Kuba, which is over here. So let me be careful turning and reaching. All right, this one actually tricked me. I thought this one was genuine leather and it's not, but it is very well made. If you guys know Kuba, you know that it is a very well made brand. They do both leather and faux leather. So this is a faux leather um, shoulder bag and it has the snake print in like a brownish purpley gray and beige uh, with some black and black trim. So it has gold tone hardware. You um, zip these down and they are functioning pockets. They do not connect. You have a really cute bow detail on each side. And then the back has your Kuba branding. And it's kind of like sort of a bucket bag, not really, but it is in really nice condition. It is just a shoulder bag. And then you have the black faux leather trim. It has a snap closure and the interior is all one, all one compartment. And just got some fuzzies from the paper. But there's your Kuba with your zipper pocket and your slips. Very clean interior. You just got some fuzzies from the paper. But other than that, this bag is in really nice condition. Um, nice big shoulder bag by Kuba, and we're gonna do 45 on it. All right, then we have a Daniela Lahavi. I don't know if anyone's ever heard of that brand, but she is super duper expensive. Um, I actually was gifted a pair of um, ankle boots. Um, by Daniela Lahavi and they are just stunning and so well made um, and they are so comfortable and I've I have had I have, have seen bags by her um, but I 
this one is the one that's available for you. <laughs> it's a tote and it's beautiful. Um, it's kind of like this woven, I don't want to say plastic, but it's like a woven, um, it's not cloth, put it that way. And then you have the leather trim everywhere. So you have the Daniela Lahavi uh, leather and leather ha uh, handles. So this could be like a tote if you want to use it for the beach or a tote purse. I would use tote purse because it's expensive. Um, and you have the leather trim all the way around and it is in very, very, very good condition. All right, it is gorgeous. All right, it has the longer shoulder handles. Um, and then on the inside, you do have a snap closure. And the inside is like this, um, it's probably cotton, I don't know. Let me see if I can have the, if there's a tag. I don't even see a tag. Anyways, um, there's your slip pocket, which is leather. You have two pockets on each side, right there and right there. You have your key fob, which is also in leather. And then you have your branding with your zipper pocket over here. So made in Israel, um, and then her website. Beautiful bag by Daniela Lahavi Tote. Um, this one is listed for 90, not this one, but this style is listed for $95 on eBay. I'm going to bring this to you for 65. Love it. I thought about keeping it. Um, okay. Next up is a Claire V, which is also super duper expensive. It is this one right here. I actually had found another Claire V, um, in the thrift and I, I just listed it, honestly, because it was this little suede crossbody, like half this size, and I sold it for $75. But I figured, let me let me show it to you guys. You never know, right? I think this one is awesome. So Claire V, it's in really good condition. It's like a tote. Um, with the top handles in leather, it's all leather. This is like a brown, it's like a brown, but it has a little bit of like beigey red undertones and black. And it has the shoulder strap that is not adjustable. It is leather as well though. Beautiful gold tone hardware. It's like very well made. Um, the bottom and corners on this are in really excellent condition. Like I said, this bag is in really really good condition like super nice and then I even like it's like the little things I like that little stitch I think is cool um, okay so let's open it up it is a zipper closure on top the interior reminds me of the Daniela Lahavi bag with that like cottony linen-y interior there's no pockets or anything in there but everything is in immaculate condition and then here is your branding, Claire V. Los Angeles. Okay, so this exact purse is listed on eBay for $120. I am going to bring it to you for $85. And it's in phenomenal condition. Um, again, I give you guys the deals. If I was to list this on eBay, it is in better condition than the one listed. I would list it for about $150. So you guys are getting the deal at 85. Okay, next up, this one is so cool too. I have so many great bags to show you guys this week. I'm so excited. So I hope you guys are just as excited. I've never seen the sack like this before. This is such a good bag. It's so good. It is all leather and it is all in such good condition. It is like new. Um, the handles on it are the longer shoulder straps, uh, silver tone hardware. It is a larger bag. Um, it has the, what do they call this? Whip stitching and the color block. It's black, off white and gray. You have the beautiful tassel. It's all leather. There's your, the sack right there. Um, you have the, uh, blah, 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 what are they called? Studs down the sides. You have a zipper pocket in the back. 
excellent, excellent condition on the bottom and corners. And then handles are in excellent condition as well. The zipper closure on the top. And the interior. Okay, so the interior is good. There's just a teeny itty bitty bit of like, you can't even see it. A little bit of, it's probably the glue underneath that they use to, to hold it in place and stuff. So it's really nothing, but you guys know me, I'm super picky. All right, so the rest of the bag is perfectly fine. All beautiful in this like bluish color with your zipper pocket, the sack and slips. So absolutely gorgeous bag by the sack. And I'm doing this one for 50, five zero. Okay, flip the page. Next up, we're doing the Bagalini. I bet you thought that one was next. <laughs> so this one is brand new with tag. This is a crossbody or um, shoulder bag, silver tone hardware. It is brand new at tag. It's called the Sydney. There's no price on it though. And you guys know Bagalini. They have a ton of organizational pockets and such. Um, it is brand new at tag and in new condition. You have a zipper pocket here, zipper compartment here, turn lock compartment here. You have all the original stuffing in everything. You have a zipper, big zipper pocket here. Beautiful, like orangey interior. These, are, these bags are like a nylon-ish, so it's very easy to clean. Um, here's the back pocket, which is a magnet closure. And then your interior is zippered, and it comes with a removable little pouch that does zipper. And then you have your zipper pocket, slips, card slots, and, a, and for your pen right here. And you have the silica pads down there. So, new with tag, new condition, Bagalini, pink, and we're gonna do this one for $45. Okay. All right, next up is Desigual. I'm probably saying that wrong, and I'm sorry. Desigual. Awesome colorful stuff that they make. Um, they are based out of Spain, I believe. Um, this is a like canvas tote. It is just faux leather. I thought it was real because it's very well made, but it is faux leather. It is a tote. It has a um, top handles and it also has a shoulder strap. It does not adjust and I do not think, let's see. Actually, it can be a crossbody. It sits a teeny bit higher up on the hip, but you can wear it as a crossbody. This bag is in excellent condition. You have a little zipper pocket down here, perfect for like a chapstick or something. You have this cool lizard dude with all these rhinestones, and that is a pocket underneath. And then you have this zipper pocket here. And then on the back, look at that. This is, I think this is all painted. I think this is all like hand painted on here. Cause if you look closely and then it says, um, La Vida Es Chula. Okay. The life of something, you guys always correct me. So, um, and then all beautiful, all really good condition all the way around. Okay, and then on the inside, it's a zipper pocket, zipper closure, lots of space. And this one is in excellent condition on the interior as well. Zipper pocket right there and your slippy right there. So really great condition overall, the Sigwell And we're doing this one for $50, five zero. All right, let's put you right there. And let's do a Tianello. I've actually never seen this style and I really like it. So Tianello, and it is leather. 
Um, it is a crossbody or shoulder bag. You can adjust it, gold tone hardware. Um, you can't, you cannot adjust it more than about three inches. And I did notice that there is a little crack in the leather right there. So I will put some leather glue right there as to not make it go any further than that. But I just wanted to point that out because I literally just noticed it when I felt it. So, okay, so it has the woven leather with your tassel and um, the bottom and corners are really great on this one. There is a pocket on the front that snaps. Um, the I feel like there was a, there is, okay. So there was a little scratch right here. Hardly noticeable. The back, you have your big organizational zip around. So you have your zipper pocket, slips, card slots. Okay. And then your interior is a zipper closure. And you have your branding with your zipper pocket and a big slip pocket. Very, very good condition teeny tiny little flaws, but bottom and corners are good. So for the TNLO, $40, four zero. All right, then we have a B. Mikowski. This one, again, I swear, B. Mikowski has so many different styles, I'll never see them all. Um, so this one is a shoulder bag. It is in like this chestnut tan color. You guys know B. Mikowski makes beautiful leather bags, but not anymore. So um, they are, whatever you see out in the wild, that's all there is. So this one's in great condition. Got that like rolled leather handle, uh, silver tone hardware. You have a pocket here in the front, pocket on each side. Your signature little slippy on the back. Couple little marks on the bottom, but nothing terrible. Corners are great. Um, the interior is a magnet closure. And then you have one compartment. And you have your branding with your zipper pocket. And there is, it does look like there's a little ink mark right there. But other than that, she's good. Cute little shoulder bag, B. Mikowski actually matches my shirt really well. And we're gonna do this one for $45. Okay, all right. Now this guy's next. So I saw this one and I was like, oh, that's kind of cute. You know, it's got like the Wizard of Oz, like ruby red slippers and stuff. And then I looked a little closer and she's a coach. So she's a Coach Safiano Leather Tote. It has the Coach and Wizard of Oz. And this is a hat. This is the witch's hat in metal. And it says Coach on the bottom. Um, this bag is in really nice condition. Um, there, the straps are a little bit bent, but you can definitely just you know fix that by uh, laying something heavy on them and they will bend right back, not a problem. Um, the bottom and corners, there is a teeny itty bitty bit of wear right there. Um, that corner is perfectly fine. That corner's fine and so is the other one. The bottom is great. The back, right where the creed comes through, there is a little like a couple little nicks, but nothing serious. And that's how they um, sew the, the creed on the inside. Um, so let's take a look at the inside. There is no closure to this bag and there's no pockets or anything on the interior either. The inside is the suede, but in really good shape. And the creed um, okay, so it says, this is a coach bag handcrafted from the finest materials. It features details inspired by the Wizard of Oz. Carry it with you everywhere. 
from the yellow brick road to the Emerald City. <laughs> I like that. So it gives you the code, um, which is G1932-77957, I think. And then it says something entertainment co turner entertainment co something i don't know it gets really small but there's that and then there is just a little mark right there but minor minor little things it is a large red tote by coach and we're going to do this one for 250 250 dollars there you go i remember when i was a kid i used to watch the wizard of oz just over and over and over and over and over and over again and my mom just was gonna just go crazy <laughs> so 250 on the coach tote okay then we have the Kurt Geigers so I recently quick story time I recently fell in love with Kurt Geiger bags um, I have never heard of this brand I don't know why Shh, don't make fun of me but I was watching this um, influencer and fashion creative person that I follow on Instagram and she was at Dillard's and she was looking at all the Kurt Geiger bags and I fell in love with them I'm like oh my gosh I have to have one so I did I bought one it was my Christmas present to myself um, actually if you want I, if you want to see, you know what let me show you Okay, so I also used that opportunity to put up the ordering instructions up on the screen again. <laughs> All right. So this is her. This is the Kurt Geiger mini Kensington bag. Um, I love it. When I saw it in her video, by the way, it's Dion Dean that I follow on Instagram and YouTube. Dion Dean. Um, she's fabulous. Um, and she's like super real love her anyway, so it is a like coated metal black crossbody strap with the gold tone and Then the Kurt Geiger like Eagle Love it. This is beautiful leather You have the Kurt Geiger London on the back and then check this out That's what sold me I thought that was so cool and so different. I've never seen anything like that before. And I just loved the eagle and the dual, like the color different, two different color chain. And then, you know, the inside, and they come in different sizes. They have the regular, the large, and then the extra large, but I do not like big bags. So, and plus they're not cheap. So um, there's the inside and it does fit my phone. So we're good. So, um, I was looking on their website and they were having a 40% off sale and I bought another one. <laughs> so when that one comes in, I'll show it to you. Um, but this is the, like I said, the mini Kensington. Yeah. Uh, Kirk Geiger. Love it. I'm obsessed with it. I can't wait for the other one to come in. I'll show you guys that one when it comes in. Okay, let's keep going. So Kurt Geiger, I found two of them at the thrift. I couldn't believe it. I was really tempted to keep one, but I am going to offer them to you guys first. So the first one is this one. They're both the same, just different color and sizing. So I already forgot the name of this and I didn't write it down. Olivia maybe, I don't know. Um, this is a straw tote, little mini tote, shoulder bag. Uh, very well made chain handle detail. You got your eagle with the rhinestones. Beautiful Kurt Geiger on the hardware. There you go. Uh, leather on the top to protect your shoulders. Um, this bag is in excellent condition. Um, it is a smaller tote, little tote bag. Um, the inside there is no closure and there are no um pockets or anything on the inside okay and then there's your kurt geiger london right there um so really cute um this one is on ebay for a hundred dollars and up and I will offer this one to you for 50. 
So really cool. Great condition. Then we have the large one. This one is super large. Same um, straw fabric. Um, but much, much bigger and pink. Still excellent condition. You have your eagle. Um, Kurt Geiger on the hardware. Um, excellent condition handles, perfect. So holding it up, it is very large. There is nothing wrong with it. The interior again, there's no closure. And there's your Kurt Geiger London there. And there is a tag, I wonder what the tag says. It is, I'm gonna read it. 100% paper and the trim is 100% leather. All right, so for the big boy, this one is going to be $85. 85 for the large Kurt Geiger pink. All right. Next up, we have an Isabella Fiore. I, this brand, if you don't know Isabella Fiore, really underrated, great leather bags. Um, this one is large and in charge. So if you are a large bag lover, this one is for you. This one is suede and leather, and it is large. Um, it is in relative, I think it's actually in really great condition. I'll show you. There's a little, you know, scratching with the suede, but it's nothing serious. I did spruce it up with some leather conditioner. Um, there is a mark there on the leather. There's the back with your Isabella Fiore. Side. You have the bottom, couple little marks. Corners do have minor wear. I did spruce them up, but you can see there is still a little bit of minor usage to the corners. Um, handles are in really great condition. Um, then you have, they can be adjusted. They can go two inches shorter and an inch longer, I would say. And so to get into the bag, you pop the flap and you have three compartments with the center being zippered. So the back section here, I try not to like hurt my back by throwing the um, stuffing. Really excellent condition on the interior, Isabella Fiore with your zipper um, pocket. Then you have the middle zip section, which is in really great condition. And then you have the other side here, which has your slip pockets. So overall, I think this bag is in beautiful condition. There are, you know, a few very minor things going on with it. There's one, it does need to be shaped a little bit better. Um, so just keep that in mind. I may send it stuffed so that it can hold its shape while it gets to you. Um, this is a heavier bag. Remember suede and leather. Um, there is one listed on eBay for $75, but it is tore up. It is. It looks like they pulled it out of a swamp. Like from here down is all discolored. Um, so I'm going to offer this one to you for $85. I think it's gorgeous. Okay. Oh. All right, next up we have a Brahmin. This might be um, vintage. Really cute shoulder bag, longer shoulder handles. You have your Brahmin hang tag right there. It is a zipper pocket here on the front. It's black croc embossed leather with the beige um, woven straw. Um, that, I mean, you can wear it either side, that side or that side. This one also needed some help um, with the 
stuffing like being um, shaped. So, but really great condition on bottom and corners. It does still need some help to be shaped. There's your feet and bottom are really nice. The straps are in really great condition, longer straps. They can be adjusted, I would say about four inches shorter, two to four inches shorter. And then it is a zipper closure on top. This bag is in really great condition. It's beautiful, honestly. Very like, like classic and classy. Um, and then your interior does have a little bit of fuzzies down there. Those come free with the bag. And you get a zipper pocket there with your Brahmin, a key fob, and a pen holder, and your slip pockets. So just a couple little fuzzies, and I could try to get the rest of that out. Otherwise, beautiful. So for the Brahmin, we are going... Okay, so this one's listed on eBay between $70 and $95, this exact one. And I'm going to offer it to you for $65. Gorgeous. Uh, put you there. <sighs> okay. Next up, we have a fossil. Let me just oh, bring these guys closer. Come on, darling. Come closer. Okay. This fossil is so cute, and it is in such good condition. So you have like a purple leather. It's like a brown purple leather shoulder and crossbody strap. Um. Silver tone handle uh, hardware, it can be adjusted. And then you have the coated canvas crossbody bag section. It's got black with white and then white with black. I wouldn't necessarily say white, it's like off white. Uh, nice big zipper pocket in the front here. Nothing on the back. Uh, like I said, this bag is in excellent condition. Bottom and corners are great. A zipper closure on the top and your interior is beautiful as well with your branding and your zipper pocket and your slips so gorgeous um, leather and coated canvas fossil and we're gonna do this one for 40 oh, hold on my mom sorry calling. when mama calls I answer. <laughs> so next up is Brooks Brothers. So this one is gorgeous. It is like new condition. Um, the only thing that is really wrong with it is that there is no crossbody strap if you wanted a longer strap for it. And I think the hardware on the chain is a little bit lighter of a gold than this right here, but it's not exactly noticeable. It's just, you guys know I'm super picky. Um, but it's beautiful otherwise. I do have a gold chain strap if you would like. I can add it for an extra $10 onto the price of the bag. Otherwise, it is just a handbag. Um, like I said, you have the pocket here in the front. It is Brooks Brothers. It is a beautiful quilted red leather and it is in really excellent condition. Super, super duper nice. Um, interior, uh, handles are really great. Interior has a zipper closure. This one took a lot of stuffing because again, it needed to be shaped. So I may send this with the stuffing in it if somebody buys it just so it can, you know, relearn its shape when it's on the way to you. Um, on the interior, it is all one compartment. Sorry guys, I really stuffed it. All right, so the interior is beautiful. It is like a cream color um, with your Brooks Brothers, your zipper pocket, and your slips. And what does that say? That says genuine leather. All right, so beautiful Brooks Brothers. And we're gonna do this one for 60. All right, up next is a black leather Calvin Klein tote shoulder bag. Beautiful condition, longer shoulder straps, larger bag. You have your Calvin Klein hang tag here in silver tone. 
Um, Calvin Klein does make leather and faux leather bags. This one is leather. And you have the Calvin Klein on all the hardware. You have side pockets. There's the back. Um, corners and bottom are in really great condition. Handles are in really great condition. You can adjust them about an inch longer and shorter. It looks like somebody had did that. So there is just a little bit of like the folding from when it got put into those holes. Um, and then the interior, you have a snap closure and it's one compartment. You have some fuzzies. Um, there's your Calvin Klein with your zipper pocket and your slips. So really great condition all the way around. So for the Calvin Klein, we're going to do $48. Um, let's put you there. All right, next up we have a coach shoulder bag. This one is black leather and patent leather. Here is your hang tag. This one is in beautiful condition. You have the double handles with the patent leather at the top, excellent condition, silver tone hardware. Beautiful all the way around, soft black leather. You do have feet. Gorgeous. So to open the bag, you're gonna lift up the flap right here. And then your interior has three compartments with the center being zippered. And you have the back section, which has your creed and your zipper pocket. G1260 F1924 8. And then your middle section is zippered. And then your other section in the front here has your slip pockets. Very clean, very good condition. Coach shoulder bag. And we're going to do this one for. Um, $55, five, five. Then we have this little cutie. This is a Coach Poppy shoulder bag. It's set up to be a shoulder bag right now. You can make it a crossbody. It has um, the canvas fabric um, strap. The only issue with this one is that there's some black on the silver um, leather whatever this is, patch, and I can't get it off. Um, I did get most of it off, but I don't wanna take off the metallic of the patch, so just keep in mind that that is there. Otherwise, it's in good shape. You have your hang tag. Um, you have a front pocket that zippers. This bag is in beautiful condition. Otherwise, the interior is zippered, and it comes with your Coach Care Card. And the inside has that slip pocket where the care card is, and it's beautiful inside. So only issue is right here. So on the Coach Poppy, um, oh, it's got some glitter on the top too. It does not come off though. Um, so really cute Coach Poppy, and we're gonna do this one for $45. Okay, next up is my favorite of the coaches. This one, I didn't even know like, I don't know the names of coaches, but I'm trying. <laughs> so this one is called the Dinky, and it is beautiful. It's in like an oxblood reddish purple with like the darkened sides. It did not come with a hang tag. I added this one. So I added this hang tag. You don't have to have it on here if you don't want it, but I am including it. Um, it has this beautiful chain. It is a crossbody. It does not adjust. Um, and it's got like the leather woven through the dark metal hang um, chain. And there is a little bit of wear or it's, or maybe it's supposed to be like that. I don't know. 
and it, but it does say coach. Okay. Um, there is a little bit of wear to the turn lock. There's a mark here, a mark here. I think that was it on the front, but corners are great. There's the back with your slip pocket and beautiful red leather interior. Oops, this side. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Just that little bit of issue on the front. Turn the turn lock. Beautiful red leather here. There is a little mark there. Um, it Right here it says genuine glove tanned leather. And then the inside, you have a beautiful kiss lock. So you have this front pocket here, which is all leather. Then you have your main compartment, which has this super beautiful kiss lock for your change. And it has like a Dooney interior. And then the other side has your Creed. This is a Coach Dinky bag. It is made out of genuine glove tanned leather. The variations are natural char characteristics of full grain leather. First introduced in 1973, it's chic shape and convertible strap made. Oh, you can put it through here. You can put the strap through here to make it um, shoulder bag. Um, make it a timeless classic. It, this refined version preserves the kiss lock pocket and polished turn lock of the original. Uh, number DK20215. So you can make it a shoulder bag. You just feed the um, strap through this up here. So beautiful, amazing leather, gorgeous. Um, these are listed from $150 and up, depending on color and condition, obviously. I'm gonna offer this for 100. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. All right, then we go on to this coach. This is also very unique. This is a coach hobo. Um, it is leather. It is a small little shoulder bag. Um, it has a bunch of embellishments. The suede is a little bit um, discolored the tan suede here. But everything else is in really great condition. You have your really cool hang tag. There's your strap. The other side of the strap has the metallic that is kind of coming off, but it's the other side, so who really cares? <laughs> um, bottom and corners are great. So just some discoloration on the tan suede. Otherwise, we're good. You have this nice suede um, pull and a little bit of the discoloration underneath, but no one's seeing that. Um, so inside, it's zipper closure. And I did clean out the inside, but there are a few stains that won't budge. So you have your um, slip pocket, and then you do have some staining at the bottom that would not come out. Okay, but it's not terrible. Um, and then this Creed, it's uh, handcrafted in China, G06310477. All right, so this one, couple issues, not major. I thought it was too unique to leave. So for this one, we're going to do, oh, these are listed for $85 and up online. I'm gonna offer this one to you guys for 60. Okay, now we have some Michael Kors. So first up, we have a black shoulder bag by Michael Kors. This has gold tone detailing. Um, it, the chain is in good condition. There is a couple, a couple little marks on the plate here. Um, tiny bit of wear to the uh, little rivets here, nothing major. Uh, pockets on each side. Leather is fabulous. Um, handles are great. It is a shoulder bag, little medium-sized tote. 
The interior has a zipper closure. Zipper closure and your interior is beautiful and clean. You have your branding. This is a Michael by Michael Kors zip slips, slips over here. So beautiful black leather Michael Kors shoulder bag tote, $55. All right, let me grab the rest of this stuff and bring it closer, and then we'll also show the ordering instructions again. Okay, so we are gonna continue with Michael Kors, and it is gonna be this beautiful red one. This is in like such good condition. I love it. It's a Safiano leather, gold tone hardware. Beautiful condition. It is a shoulder bag, double handles with the chain and leather. Sorry, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I always clean up the paper when I do these little breaks in the video. So it does need to be stuffed and shaped a little bit, um, but pockets on each side. Beautiful condition. Bottom and corners are gorgeous. Handles are in really great shape. It is a zipper closure on the top. So zipper closure on the top and then your interior is beautiful. Oh look, it actually still has the paper on the zipper. So I bet you nobody even carried this. Zipper, uh, slip pockets. It is a Michael by Michael Kors. More slips there. Beautiful red Safiano leather, Michael Kors. And we're gonna do this one for 60. Then we have a new with tag Michael Kors. This one is their newer logo. It is a brown leather crossbody or shoulder bag. You can adjust it. You can't really go much shorter. Um, so it'll just be a longer shoulder bag. Um, gold tone hardware. I will show you the tag. It is new with tag. There is a mark right here. I did get most of it out, but I didn't want to ruin the leather, so I stopped right there. Um, as you can see, this was on the Desigual bag. <laughs> Desigual, it'll go away. So the back has a slip pocket. The top right here is a flap, and then you have still the original paper in there, a little flap pocket. And then your interior is a zipper closure. Here is your tag. There's no price on it. This is called the Florence Crossbody. And you have your zipper pocket with your branding. This is a Michael by Michael Kors. And some slip pockets, I mean some card slots. You can fit a phone, no problem. So for this one, brand new with tag, Michael Kors. We're going to do 60, six zero. Okay, now we're going to do the bags that I had left from Rent the Runway. So um, if you missed the other ones and like my whole explanation about Rent the Runway, you can check back to last week's video when I explained it all. Um, so the first one up is a Furla. Love this brand. So this is a... Um, it's like a beige, beigey blush, pebbled leather. There's your Furla logo in a light gold tone. This one did not come with a strap, so I actually thrifted this one. I couldn't believe it. It's like nearly the same exact color. Um, it will come with the bag. The chain that I had bought for this, the gold is way too bright for it to match so that's why i added this one instead um if you would rather the super bright gold tone chain for it i will switch it out for you let me know in the email if you don't want this one at all i don't have to include it but it will be included if you don't tell me otherwise it is a crossbody strap and in really great condition um otherwise it's just a handbag um, the outside of the bag is in really great shape the bottom and corners have very, 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 very minimal wear, hardly noticeable at all. 
There is a mark right here on the back. Nothing too serious though, and there's your furla. Handles are really great on the top. And then your interior has a snap closure, and it's one compartment. And Rent the Runway did mark up the interior. Right, jeez. You see it? All in there. Um, but there's your Furla Genuine Leather with your slip pocket. And there's another slip pocket with a zipper pocket there. That's a little fuzzy from the paper. Um, so there is marker right there. Otherwise, it's in really great shape. Little mark on the back and teeny itty bit of wear on each corner. Nothing like really serious at all. So as is like this, this bag is $90. I can switch out this strap to the gold, but like I said, it's a very bright gold tone and it does not match this. That's why I didn't end up putting it on there. So 90 bucks, beautiful. Um, next up we have a Rebecca Minkoff. So this one I had to paint. I did take photos like of my process. If I ever get around to putting the video together, I will put the video out of me fixing this bag up, the Gucci bag, and the Celine heels. So this bag was all this color, but of course, good old Rent the, run Rent the Runway put blue marker all over the front. So I painted it and we did like a little color block. So now it is black in the front and the back and the original um, like beige on the corners. And it is like a um, canvas material, silver tone hardware with leather. So up here is leather. You have a zipper pocket here, Rebecca Minkoff on the back here. It is a crossbody or shoulder bag black leather adjustable strap. The bag itself is in phenomenal condition. So I don't exactly know what happened. I don't care. I fixed it and I love it. The interior is a zipper closure. And then you have your Rebecca Minkoff with your slip pocket. That's the Rent the Runway tag. And this side has no pockets, so just one slip pocket in there. So overall, now it's beautiful. So for the Kristen D upcycled um, Rebecca Minkoff color block, we are going to do $50, five zero. All right, then we have another Staud, S-T-A-U-D. This one is in like a bright green leather. Super cool. I added this chain because it did not come with one. So it can be removed if you don't like it. It's a gold tone um, chain, metal chain, crossbody. Um, or you can take it off and just have this as a handbag. It is in really great condition on the outside, bottom and corners. There is a little mark right there and right there. And then the interior, you have like a drawstring closure. There's your stod. It is a little bit dirty around the drawstring. And there is a marker mark right there. I'm gonna ruin good things, rent the runway. And then the interior has some uh, markers as well. So you got one on the bottom, one on the side. Okay, but otherwise you're good. Again, there's your stod. So really cute for the summer. On the outside, no one would know the wiser. So um, this one is on Stod's website still for $325. Um, the Real Real has one for $108. I'm gonna do this one for 50, okay? 
Then we have another green one. This one's by a brand called Yuzefi. Y-U-Z-E-F-I, Yuzefi. I added this chain because it did not come with a handle. Gold tone chain crossbody. This is called the Yuzefi Yus Dinner Roll Bag. It is um, genuine leather. It's in really great condition on the outside. There's just a few little marks on the back right here. Great condition, otherwise beautiful. And then you open it, this is so cool, you open it like this. And then there you go. So the inside has your Yosefi made in Spain. And then there's your Rent the Runway tag but there's no other pockets on the inside. No pockets on the inside. And your phone can fit, no problem. Honestly, I, I think if nobody buys this, I might keep this one. This is a, I love unique bags. And this is just, this takes the cake. Whoops. So Yosefi, Yosefi dinner roll bag. Um, on their website, new. These are selling for $390. Um, on eBay, they're listed for $150 and up. I will bring this to you guys for $85. I think it's so stinking cool. Definitely a head turner with that one. All right, then we have um, the Littles. Now we're up to the Littles, okay. I feel like I'm taking a really long time with this video and I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so let's get the littles up here. And the first one up is also from Rent the Runway. This is a Nina Ricci um, Paris leather pouch. It is beautiful, substantial blue leather. It did not come with a pull, so I added this one. It is leather, blue leather. So, um, kind of a little color, color block, two-tone blue. Otherwise, it's in beautiful condition. So they just, Rent the Runway discarded this just because it didn't have a pull anymore. So it is in beautiful condition. Otherwise, silver tone hardware and the inside is, um, there's no pockets or anything on the inside. So beautiful pouch by Nina Ricci. It's like very substantial zipper. Wow. Anyway, um, this one, if you look up Nina Ricci handbags, I mean, outer space prices, crazy. So I'm gonna offer this one to you guys for 50 bucks. I know that sounds like a lot, but if you go and look at Nina Ricci pricing, $50 is a steal. <laughs> okay, so now these are the regular littles. First up, I have a purse N. So this is um, like a little purse organizer. So you can put all of your stuff in this and then you can take it and carry it into your next bag. So you can switch out your bags and not have to transfer a million and one things. So this one's in a red, um, almost like a silky satin material cheetah. You have a pocket here on the front you have, nope, pocket on the back. This opens up to elongate the bag, the little dividers, whatever. On the inside, you have a pocket on each side. You have this zipper pocket along the back. You have slip pocket, slip pocket, slip pocket, slip pocket. And then you put in, you know, whatever you want in there. So Purse Organizer by Purse N, and we're gonna do this one for $12. Pretty cool. All right, then we have a Vince Camuto little pouch, little cosmetic case, uh, toiletry case, whatever you would like to use it for. It's in like a gold snake print. You can see that. And it's got like a rose gold metallic um, edging and then your gold tone hardware. Excellent condition, 
I didn't stuff it or anything. That's why it looks like this. Vince Camuto, little pouch. And on the inside, you have a zipper pocket and slips. Very, very, very good condition. Vince Camuto, $10. Then we have a leather, black leather Born wallet. This is so nice, you guys. Born. They also make BOC, which is their faux leather line. So this is a black, le <laughs> black leather wallet. Excellent condition. Zipper pocket in the back. Beautiful, beautiful condition on this one. You're going to open it up. You got um, your ID slots. Open this part up. More card slots. This section here, you have your accordion. All right. A lot going on in this little guy. So for the Born Wallet, we're going to do $20. Beautiful condition. Then we have a Patricia Nash wristlet, which is new, um, like new. It is the tooled leather, embossed leather. Beautiful um, beige, beigey tan. Like I said, excellent condition wristlet. And then your interior. Near perfect. Okay, so for this one, $30. Then we have a Brighton coin port, <laughs> Brighton coin pouch. Um, this is leather, two tone brown and black. I actually bought a coin pouch from Lindsay Clark. It's Gucci, and I'm gonna start putting all my coins in it instead of having your coins rolling around the bottom of your purse, get yourself a coin purse. <laughs> so this one's in really great condition, brown and black, Brighton leather coin purse, really great condition, and we're gonna do this one for $12. Then if anybody owns a Cadillac, I found this Cadillac key fob holder. So I don't know what material this is but it's like a gray. Um, and then the inside it's zippered. So you put your, you can put your regular keys here and then your key fob, like your, um, boop, boop, the bloop, <laughs> unlock and stuff area can be put right in there and closed up. Um, and then your regular keys, or if you don't want, if you don't have any other keys, you can use this on your keys, on your keychain, and just have your fob in there, however you wanna do it, um, and it zips around. It's really fancy. I thought it was really nice. It's like really excellent condition, 20 bucks. All right, then I have a belt. So this was actually mine, and I don't wear it. I only wore it twice. So if I'm offering this to you guys, it's Michael Kors. It is gold tone with the gray and black, um, wide wide belt there are literally holes throughout the whole thing so it is completely 100 percent adjustable i wore it right here that's why there's like a little bend in it but otherwise it is fabulous it is saffiano leather i wore it twice like i said um the total length of the belt is 41 inches so as long as your waist is 41 inches or less you can wear it and um, actually probably not, I would say 40 because the last hole is right here. So I would say 40 inches and we will do this for $15. And you can own a piece of Kristen D wardrobe. <laughs> All right, then we have the two pairs of shoes. So up first are a brand new pair of Dr. Scholl's. These were sold at TJ Maxx. They are a size seven and a half. They're like a faux um, Nubuck black snake print. Little slip-on sneaker by Dr. Scholl's. And they are new. The bottoms are just a little dirty because I guess people were trying them on. But they are new. Black Nubuck, faux Nubuck, I don't know. Um, seven and a half new, and we're gonna do these for 20 bucks. And then these are a brand called IGI & Co from Italy. They are a suede 
uh, probably one inch hidden wedge, like a metallic gold and like a beigey gray taupe. These are in a size nine and a half. Really excellent condition. I think these are so cool. If these were a little smaller, they'd be in my closet. So um, these are IGI and Co. Made in Italy, size nine and a half, twenty-five dollars. Okay, that's everything. Let's put up the order instructions one more time, and then we will get into the America's Surf Supply box. Okay guys, so I did reach out and hear back from America's Thrift Supply, the manager over there, and they did um, replenish my coupon code. Um, his words exactly were, um, your coupon code does not have any plan to expire. So that was really great. Um, so again, if you type in Kristen at checkout on americasthriftsupply.com for the coupon code, you will save 15% on any and all your orders, no matter what. All right, so let's get into it. This is the five purse box bundle. Um, usually they send more than that if it's, if like one or two aren't, you know, the greatest or whatever. And I think I see an invoice, so I'll be able to tell you guys what I paid. I don't get any type of commission or anything. I just get to use my own code. So um, I paid total $55.48 for five, maybe more, brand name purse boxes. I ordered purse bags. I ordered this on 12-1. All right, here's a sneaky peeky. This is a very heavy box. I probably shouldn't have picked it up like that. Okay. No way. Can you guys see that? Lotus. I know a lot of people don't like Lotus, but I think their bags are great. Their leather, phenomenal. So this looks like a brand new Lotus. I'm sorry I'm taking it out of the packaging, but we have to look at it. Oh, it's like kind of stuck, so it's probably better that I'm taking it off so you guys don't get it and be like, Kristen, you sold me a sticky bag. All right, so it's gonna need to be wiped down. I don't know why it got stuck. Maybe somebody spilt something on it. I'm gonna have to um, clean this and just make sure it's not gonna stay sticky for you. But it's like a patent leather. But it's really pretty. It actually looks like it's um, hand painted. All right, so let's take this out. It is a, it is not a wristlet. I bet you it can be though. I do have a black patent leather I can put on here. Um, it actually could be a full blown purse because it has a D ring on both sides. That would, this would be beautiful as a purse. So you have this section here. Yeah, something must have spilled on this because it's all like, I'll have to see if I can clean this up. I don't even know what that says. The beauty of Lotus, okay. Yeah, you can like hear the stickiness. And then the inside, oh, here's the strap. Oh, it comes with both straps. Nice, so you can have the wristlet strap and the crossbody strap. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. All right, so the inside, has a um, slip pocket right here. So I'm really hoping that I can clean this up and that it will be okay because this is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to um, just put some information on the screen after I wipe it up after the video and I um, do the editing. So this is, you'll see some info right here. All right, that put that over there. All right, so now we got this big old Vera that we saw. Um, oh my gosh, this smells. Oh no. Oh yeah, no. Mm -mm. This is, this stinks to high heaven of cigarette. Mm -mm. Nope. 
So um, if anybody wants it as is, I'm not even gonna put this in my washing machine. Um, it doesn't look like it's in bad condition. Oh my gosh, but it is so stinky. So um, I'll just do $10 as is, okay? It's gonna smell. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's really smelly. I hope the rest of this is doesn't have that smell now attached to it. All right, so we got a two-in-one right here. Why does it feel like there's something in here? Oh, there is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's four purses inside one. So let's... <laughs> okay, no, I don't... I don't smell it on this. All right, so this is a little, um, like, Vera Kiss Lock little something. Uh, very clean. It does not smell. Um, very good condition. So this one will do $10. No, let's, let's do $12. It's in really great shape. $12 on that one. Then we got this one, which is a new with tag. $65? Jeez Louise. Um, oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh, no. That is all tore up right there. Um, that stinks because it it's new otherwise. Oops. It does not smell. So if you want this, just be aware it's all tore up right here. I will just do $5. And then we have this one. Okay, it does not smell. This is a little wallet. Vera, pocket on the back. Looks like it's in good shape. Okay, can you guys see? Yeah. All right, looks like we're in good shape. Oh. You got a receipt. You got a receipt for Bailey Thornton from 423 of 14 for a prom t-shirt for $15. <laughs> um, so uh, other than that, I mean, this is great. This one's really in great shape. Um, so let's do 10 on this one. And then we have this Vera. This, this smells like chalk. Does that, is that like a thing? I think this is leather. I don't know, maybe not. Um, it's beige, it's a Vera. I'm not gonna say it's leather, but the back does have wear. And the corners, it is a crossbody. The strap is fine, um, but it does smell like like dusty chalk in there. Um, $5 if anybody wants that. All right, let's take a little recap. There's a lot of stuff in here, you guys. Heck is this? This is Harley Davidson, whatever it is. All right, so first thing in the bag is this little tin purse. I don't know what this would be used for. I am not a motorcycle person, I don't know. Um, it's got a little bit of wear, very little. It is branded Harley Davidson on the bottom. I mean, it looks fine on the inside. Maybe a little lunchbox, a purse, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna look all this stuff up because I don't know anything about Harley. So you'll have a price on the screen here. And then you got this, which I'm guessing goes on your motorcycle because that's not gonna fit around anybody's waist. Um, like a little bike bag or something I want to see I don't think this is leather though there are no tags on the inside so I'm not going to say that it's leather it is very dirty it just needs to be cleaned up but I think otherwise it's fine yeah it just needs a good wipe down so again I will put information on the screen for this as well um, Okay, it does say Harley. Uh, it just needs a good wipe down. Let's put that over there. All right. 
this looks nice. <gasps> Yay, it's an Oriani. I love Oriani bags. Maybe that'll be the, another one that I add to my collection. Um, I'll get that off. Oriani makes such great leather bags, you guys. Check this out. I've sold a bunch of them. This is beautiful. It's this, it's not showing up as bright as it really is. It's like a bright Kelly green. Um, so you have your Oriani tag right here. Um, you have a pocket here on the back bottom. Oof. There's some red in there. I'll try to get that out. It looks like it may have come through on this side a little bit. Um, so that might be stuck there. Substantial hardware, look at that. So cool. This does not smell, I mean it smells like someone's perfume, but it doesn't smell like smoke. Thank God. I'd be really upset if all these stunk like smoke. I, can you tell I'm not a smoker? <laughs> all right, this just has to be fixed. Um, but really cool hardware. This side looks really nice. The bottom just has a little bit of markings on here. Um, the top. Um, it has a little bit of that red mark, but it's really not bad at all. So you got the double zip pockets. On this side, you got a zip pocket and slip pockets. And then way down at the bottom, there's like a little teeny red spot. It's really nothing even serious. So um, I'll definitely have to clean this one up a little bit. But overall, it's in really great shape. So I'm going to... I'm going to ask 50 for it. This is, this is really great. It's a heavy bag. Just so you guys know, it's a heavy bag, but straps and everything look great. It has the shoulder strap. It looks like it can be adjusted to crossbody. So that's a good one. Okay. And then lastly, we have a fossil. So this one is a coated canvas. It is a crossbody or shoulder bag. You can adjust it. It's got the nice thick canvas strap, silver tone hardware. It's like a um, salmon, like a salmony, corally, orangey pink <laughs> with like peach little stars. That pocket's good. It just needs to be cleaned a little bit right here. That pocket's good. Back is good, that pocket. Corners are great. Zipper closure. Does not smell. Um, there's a bobby pin in the, in the zipper pocket. But other than that, she's good. She's good. So for this one, I'll do 30. And that, that I mean, despite the stinky Vera, everything else was really cool. So I can't complain, and we got way more than five. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine? Nine, I think. Ten with the Lotus. <laughs> so definitely worth it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Did you have a favorite bag of the haul? This honestly was probably my favorite haul of all time to bring you guys. There was so many great bags and I was so excited to do this for you even though my back is killing me. So I'm gonna let you guys go so I can go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you haven't already and subscribe, it's free. Thank you again and we will see you in the next one.